Hello, I'm Mary Kurzel with the Cattle Facts Closing Bell. This week's Closing Bell is sponsored by Verback. After aggressive drops to begin the year, carcass weights have shown some stability over the past six weeks or so. Weights are still following a seasonal downward trend and are remaining well below a year ago, but the trend is beginning to soften and some regions in particular are showing a lot of improvement. Nebraska and Colorado were key regions that drove the large declines in weights. Unfavorable, muddy feeding conditions impacted performance and had cattle sent out sooner than normal and at lower weights. Nebraska weights have averaged about 50 pounds below a year ago so far, and Colorado is over 20 pounds lower. But both states have shown a lot of improvement in the last six to eight weeks, with weights moving more sideways. Pin conditions have reportedly improved and are not expected to be a major issue going forward. The southern states, such as Kansas and Texas, have had good winter and spring, and spring feeding conditions. Weights in this region have been right in line with previous years and the seasonal trend. Overall, weights will continue to move lower seasonally, but at a slower rate. This should begin to close the gap between year-ago levels. In this week's markets, fed cattle traded steady to $2 lower at mostly $1.80 live and $2.88 dressed in the north. The south was mostly $1 softer at $1.74 live. Beef moved higher this week, looking like it's at or near its spring highs as it moved just over 3.05 on Wednesday and is starting to soften. Feeder cattle and calves are continuing to see good demand and traded higher in most regions this week, though wide, trade though wide trading ranges are being seen. The feeder cattle index finished 260 higher at 203.91. Thanks for watching and remember to visit cattlefacts.com to become a member and receive the latest market news and analysis.